yearly is what I pay on subscriptions. Three thousand one. Where do you think you are from? Africa. Black. Black. What's up? All right, so this video right here is going to be on budgeting. Now, it is officially 2024, and before you know it, the end of the year will be here again. Um, the end of the US calendar year will be here again. So uh, let's talk budgeting, let's talk how we can save money. Um, let's talk about how we spend money and don't even realize we're spending it. It, it adds up like crazy, and um, if we budget correctly, we can save a few dollars, we can invest it, we can create emergency funds, we can do other things with our hard-earned money so title of this video will be called budgets okay i did that wrong but y'all get what i'm trying to say i'm erasing anyway <laughs> uh better yet let's call it sub script shunts subscriptions if you don't know are taking over the world i feel like every company is offering you if uh subscriptions uh i don't know if it's a flexibility thing if it's a freedom thing is everybody wants more and wants to spend less everybody wants the max utilization of everything um that is out there so companies said okay let's do subscriptions now i have a lot of subscriptions literally everything from the tv um from my car wash my gym um, I made an entire list of all my subscriptions I pay monthly. Now check this out, this is gonna be real interesting, right? All right, Messi, so y'all just follow me. Okay, first um, thing on my list, let me erase this right here so I have a lot of space because I got a lot of subscriptions. And if I have a lot, some of y'all probably have a lot too and don't even realize how much you're spending monthly, how much you're spending yearly on subscriptions. So first things first is Apple music uh i paid 12 dollars 12 dollars a month of course it sounds like it's not a lot and honestly it's not but it adds up so if you have apple music like i have apple music you probably pay 12 dollars a month now of course you got student discounts and all that stuff but i'm not a student so i pay 12 bucks all right uh let's keep it moving my next thing i pay is gym and i pay $24 a month. I go to Planet Fitness and uh, it's a cool gym, has everything I need, but it is an expense, all right? Um, budgeting is so important. Um, and in order to complete this year, especially if you want to be on a strict uh, budgeting plan, you have investments you wanna start investing in, you wanna travel more, you wanna have an emergency fund, this year is gonna be a lot of sacrifice. This budgeting is gonna be a lot of sacrifice, a lot of dedication. So if you are up for that, let's keep the journey going and let's um let's budget. All right. Uh my next thing I have uh that I pay for monthly is Spotify. And Spotify I pay 11 bucks a month. All right, we're already up to three things. And it's adding up. All right. Uh, I also have title. Now, the reason I have title is because I'm a DJ. And um, when you have title, you have something called a Serato program and you can use title within your Serato program. So for people like me, is it is an expense, but it's also um, an investment. Um, but technically, you don't really need it. It just makes the job a lot easier. Um, it is what it is. All right, my next thing I have, car wash. Now, for my car wash is unlimited. It's a subscription, of course. All these things are, are unlimited, but my car wash is $37 a month. Now, I can go 10 times a day, 100 times a week. It's a subscription, but it adds up. I could just wash my car at home, at my house, by myself, with the hose, but it's a subscription. And when I signed up for it, they told me like the first month was free and it's 37 bucks a month. I was like, why not? Uh, but it's a lot. iCloud. iCloud storage, which I feel is a finesse, which I feel is a buck, it's 10 bucks a month. 
oops, I pay 10 bucks a month for my iCloud storage. And um, I need to just go ahead and spend a day and delete a, a whole bunch of pictures, a whole bunch of videos, and just clear up some of that space because that 10 bucks a month adds up. Now, like I told you, I'm a DJ. So I have a DJ pool. Uh, and for my DJ pool, I pay $25 a month. A DJ pool is um, essentially a site that DJs go to and they can download uh, as much music as they want. Like I said, I'm a DJ, so it's kind of a investment, not really an expense, but I could find free DJ pools or go to other sites like YouTube or whatever and download music for free. It's not a necessity because I didn't always have it. I've been DJing for five years and I've only had it for about a year or so. So it's not like super mandatory, but it's an expense. Um, and if I want to budget the way I want to budget, the way you may want to budget, then uh, you definitely got to, like I said, you definitely got to um, sacrifice. For real, for real. Okay, let's keep it going. Um, Netflix, <laughs> which everyone has uh, Netflix. I pay $23 a month. Now, if you're using somebody logging, you cool. But um, $23 a month adds up. It's crazy. It's crazy how much we pay and we don't even realize. I have YouTube Premium. YouTube. Uh, let's just put YouTube, whatever. YouTube Premium, I pay $14 a month. That's because I'm lazy and I don't like seeing ads. But I could just be a little more patient and um, watch the ads. <laughs> uh, it's costing me 14 bucks a month. Now, this one is... um. Dental. Now, last year I, uh, this year I, or last year actually, I got my wisdom teeth pulled out. Uh, I had a couple fillings, you know, cleanings, X-rays, stuff like that. But it was it was costing me thirty bucks a month. Um, now this isn't super. This is an investment because health is wealth, right? But um, for me personally, I did everything I had to do uh, as far as dental. Uh, and this year, I'm going to cancel my dental insurance and just pay out of pocket when I when I go. Now, luckily, blessfully, which is a word that I always use, even though I, not, I know it's not a word. I have no issues with my teeth, no cavities or in need of braces or anything like that. So um, I'm cutting it off. And when I do go probably every six months or so for a cleaning, I'm just going to pay out of pocket and not have to have that. That on uh, that burial on my head to where I'm paying this monthly because this year I paid every single month and never went to the dentist, so it just kind of adds up and it's it's uh it's not forever it's just uh for right now like I said it's sacrifice. Uh, next thing is haircuts. Now haircuts I pay twenty five dollars every two weeks, fifty every month, so fifty every month. I have clippers upstairs. I can cut my own hair. And as you see, I got, I got, um, I got locks. So really it's just a tape up. I have a beard of course, but I could do it myself. Sometimes I treat myself and go to the barber shop, but I'm going to get into the habit of um, taping my own hair up, lining my own hair up because I could do it. I just don't always. Um, so for the guys, uh, it's not for Alva, but get some clippers, man. 30, 40, 50 bucks, whatever, from Amazon, Walmart, whatever, and do it yourself because when you're trying to get somewhere, you gotta do certain things. All right, um, where am I? And my last thing is Amazon Prime, okay? Amazon Prime, let's just put Prime. And for Amazon Prime, I paid $15 a month. Now, I could just wait for the stuff to come. Um, but I'd be impatient. I'd be wanting to come in a day, two days, 24, 48 hours, and I could be more patient. So look at all these subscriptions. It may seem like a little bit, but when you add all those numbers up, it's a lot. So let's add all these numbers up, man. Let's add all these numbers up so you can kind of see what is going on. So total, and this is monthly. This is monthly. My total for my monthly is, uh. When I add everything up, is 262, $262. Can y'all see that? $262 is what I pay monthly 
for all my subscriptions. And I honestly feel like I'm missing something, but this is all I can remember. So I'm gonna just use this for now. $262 may not sound like a lot. And if you making good money, cool. But if you are trying to budget, you can cut a lot of this stuff out, if not all of this stuff out. Now the only one which is questionable for me personally would be gym, because health is wealth. Uh, DJ pool, because I am a DJ, it's, it's, it's an investment for me. Uh, the gym is an investment and probably title, because that's also an investment for me because I'm a DJ. But I can, I can go without it. If I'm gonna be strict, I can go without it. Now check this math out right here. Check this math out right here. I know this is small, so I'm gonna keep putting it in the camera so you can see. Now look at this. $262 times 12. I pay $262 a month on subscriptions. Every month for 12 months, I already added it up right here. It is, watch this, 31, 44. 31, 44 yearly is what I pay on subscriptions. $3,144 is what I pay monthly on subscriptions. Now, I like to think of myself as a disciplined person. So I already know if I am paying $3,144 a month on subscriptions, some of y'all is way, 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 way more than that. This is just subscriptions, all right? Now check this out. I, I, I like it. I'm a visual person, so I really want y'all to see what's going on. 262. Let's make let's make sure this is, is big and bright so y'all can see. 262 times 12 is 3,144 yearly. That's what I pay. 300, excuse me, $3,144 is what I pay yearly on subscriptions, right? Let's multiply that by two. Man, 6,000. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not 6,000 exactly, but 6,000 in two years I could save. Matter of fact, let me stop being lazy. It's more than, it's more than 6,000. <laughs> It's more than 6,000. Let me get my car laid out. Don't tell my mom, cause my mom will be like, yo, mental man, if you don't need no calculator, do the work. But we got to acknowledge you, mom, I love you. I just ain't feel like doing the math. And I, I could've, cause 144 is 288. See, technology getting me lazy, man, it's crazy. That was easy math, actually. In two years, I spent 6,000. $288, that's crazy. So look, man, it's a new year. Discipline is the only way you will be successful. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get where you trying to go. Use what you got till you get what you want, as simple as that. I'm a big advocate on discipline, on, on, on sacrifice. I'm a big, big advocate on that. And 3,144 3, is the money you can be saving yearly if you can discipline yourself. The average American does not have an emergency fund. The average American does not have $3,144 in their savings account, in their checkings account, in their investment account, in their Roth IRA, in their, in their retirement fund. Let's be real. You got the one percenters and the 99 percenters. And if you're not in the one percent, you're in the other portion. And if you're in the other portion, it's highly likely that you do not have $3,144 to your name, period. And I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not, um, dissing nobody, I'm not talking negatively of anyone. All I'm saying 
it's possible. And if you want not only financial freedom, if you want better for yourself financially, discipline is everything. Now, I didn't take into account fast food, eating out, not only the financial part of it, but the health part of it. But that's, that's a crazy expense right there, man. So if you can cut down your subscriptions and cut down you eating out and cooking more at home, you can save probably the 6288 in one year. Because I'm pretty sure you spend more than $3,000 a year on eating out. I know I do. I'm guilty. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not pointing my fingers. I'm not preaching here. I'm just, I'm just doing the math. I'm giving the visuals so we can see. It's a lot, man. So uh, budgeting. It's top of the year. It's 2024, January. Let's start the year off right. Health is wealth. Wealth is health. All right? Let's build our, our wealth, man. Let's build our generational wealth, man. Let's start. Because a lot of people say, I don't know where to start. This is where you start at, man. This is where you start at. Literally, this is where you start at. You got to start from somewhere. You got to start baby steps, right? So start here, man. $262 a month. It's what I spend monthly on subscriptions. It's crazy. And if yours is anywhere around that, you got some saving to do, homie. Because it's not always about what you spend. It's about what you save. My mom taught me that. Not always about what you spend. It's about what you make and what you save. Because you can, you can make $100,000 a year. But if all your expenses for the year because you don't budget correctly is 95,000, you only got 5,000 left over. That's not a lot of money. So blessings to everyone. Happy New Year to everyone. January 1st obviously is um, the start of the US calendar. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, Big blessings, big love, 2024, Africa Black. Like, comment, subscribe. I hardly say that because if you do, I appreciate it. If you don't, I still appreciate it, man. Blessings. Where do you think you are from? Africa Black.